first of all let me give you an introduction why our project is of paramount importance for the local health sector the weight of an icu patient is a significant measurement which is used for the majority of treatments especially for the patients who are being treated at kidney wards cancer wards and the patients who are being treated at the pediatric wards their fluid balance and their weight is a paramount data that is often used for the better patient care most of the icu patients have less to none mobility therefore it is very difficult or mostly impossible to measure their correct weight using the conventional methods the methods that are been adapted currently are to estimate their weight using the anthropometric measurements or either to use the recorded weight at the time of admission it is often observed that the approximated weight deviates from the exact value in a great extent therefore this project focuses on finding a solution for this problem it is our goal to design an accurate safer and cost efficient system to measure the body weight of a patient who is being treated at the icu this project targets to develop the system so that it can be implemented in the existing icu beds in sri lanka at a very minimum cost the project concept that we use to design our device is an adjustable board which suits for the icu bed and it has weight transducers connected to the outer surface which then takes the weight measurement the board is designed in six plates so that it won't hinder the movements of an icu bed the bed will move accordingly as the health staff required the device methodology initially the device is attached to the icu bed upon which the mattress is placed in the production process the device is calibrated by the manufacturer and no further calibrations are required by the end customer in case of a miscalibration a calibration mode is installed in the control panel finally the device is tested for the mattress weight before taking any measurements this is a complete demonstration of the calibration and measurement process here you can see the placement configuration of the device First, the device is required to be tested for any existing weights. This is the calibration mode of the device. Here you can see the device has six plates and each plate needs to be calibrated for a predetermined weight disclosed by the manufacturer. After any calibration, it is required to be repeated the tearing process. Here are the key features of this device. This device is compatible with the existing ICU beds used in Sri Lanka. Since the bed is placed before the patient, the treatment process is not disturbed throughout the measurement process. As well as, the device is completely portable with a total weight of approximately 24 kilograms. Just in case of a power failure, the device is programmed to preserve existing tear data and 
No repetition of any process is required. So this is the table we arrange from the results comparison of our device. According to the graph that we have plot using result comparison data, the maximum percentage deviation is 1.9% and the average percentage deviation is 1.76%. So the measurements are in acceptable range. When considering about design complications, one of the major thing was the deflection of the top plate. Before we start our fabrication process, first we did some simulations using SOLIDWORKS and we found out the plates will have about 9mm deflection under the accepted loading conditions. So we tried some solutions and finally found out this is the best way to limit the deflection. So we have added 6mm plywood board then we obtained more accurate results as deflection was minimized. So then the next design complication was fixing the bottom and top plates. Here the case was load cells are attached to the upper plate using brackets and those load cells are touched with the lower plates with the tip of the sensors. So we have to add a mechanism to connect the upper and lower plates without transferring weight through that mechanism. If the weight is transferred through the mechanism then it will minimize the weight transfer through the sensors causing inaccurate system. Therefore we use this kind of freely moving mechanism to connect upper and lower plates. So this is the cost that we have to bear for our project and the total cost is 30,180 rupees. As for the further developments of this device, we are planning to install memory functions so that this device can record each patient's weight data and it can be analyzed for the better patient outcome. We also intend to develop a system that could predict the patient's fluid balance so that it will be very useful for the patients who have been treated at the kidney wards. Thank you very much for weaving our product Balancia by Team Mechanical.